I would not buy a natural diamond, lab-grown diamond, or moissanite unless I watch this video. You need to know this if you're buying any kind of cleared white colored gemstones such as diamonds, moissanite, or lab-grown diamonds. And what I'm referring to is the diamond color. If you don't know what that is, then make sure you definitely check out this episode because this episode is for you. If you're new to the channel or if you've been following us for a long time and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I will give you so much value that is going to make your shopping experience experience that much better okay so what is the color grade of a diamond to make it simple and long story short basically all it is is this when you're buying a diamond the whiter the gemstone the more expensive it is the warmer the gemstone the less expensive it is and it's because of supply and demand more people that are buying white gemstones such as lab diamonds natural diamonds and moissanite they prefer to be very very white whereas the lower end of the spectrum where it's a lot warmer it's less expensive because less people want them right it just makes sense now i'm not referring to the fancy colors such as the vivid yellows i'm not referring to the beautiful reds i'm not referring to the blue diamonds diamonds i'm not referring to the orange diamonds those are just gorgeous right what i'm referring to are slightly yellow diamonds that are warm in color those are usually not sought after and therefore because of supply and demand the prices are a lot less so that said let's break this down on the diamond scale when you are grading a diamond or when you're purchasing a diamond that's been graded typically is broken down into four sections how are diamonds graded it's actually Actually graded by letters starting with the letter D for diamond and it ends with the letter Z so D is the whitest Z is the warmest okay so from D E and F those are considered colorless diamonds yes they're colorless that's exactly what it means which means there is no warmth in it there shouldn't be any kind of a yellowish tinge there should not be any type of hint of yellow tonality or anything at all it's all white so you may ask well michael well there's three grades there's d e and f so if there's a d e and f wouldn't one be warmer than the other the answer is you got me, right? So that's something that I asked too when I went to the Gemological Institute of America. But basically all that means is it's all colorless. The only difference is that the D is much whiter than the E and the E is whiter than the F. So you won't be able to tell the difference unless you actually have a D color diamond, an E color diamond, and an F color diamond next to each other and you'll see the slight variances of the whiteness, right? So the D just means it's a lot whiter and brighter than the E versus the F, but all technically is a colorless diamond without the yellowish color. Now, the next step down is something called near colorless, and that's from a GHIJ. Now, in this category, you could definitely see the yellowish warmth, okay? It's not as much because it's called near colorless, but you can definitely see it. Now, the difference here is that from the G, H, I, and J, you can definitely see the differences from G and J for sure. J is much warmer than the G. Matter of fact, a pro tip is if you are looking to purchase a colorless diamond, but it's out of your budget, or you want to use some of that budget to upgrade the other qualities of the diamond, such as the clarity, the cut, or the carat weight, you could do that by buying a G because it's very so close to the F that many times you can't see the difference. And therefore you could actually get the more bang for your buck and take that extra budget and increase the carat size, the clarity, or the overall cut grade. So if you're getting some value out of this video so far, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit the like button. So that said, a near colorless diamond is actually very, very popular, especially the G and H category, because you kind of get away with that. You can kind of, many people that look at it may actually think it's a colorless diamond because it's so close, right? Uh, so that's a pro tip. Now, the other range when you go down from a J is the K to M category. In this category, it's actually called slight yellow, slightly yellow, uh, but it's definitely much warmer than that of the near colorless and the colorless diamond. So if you were to get a DEF diamond next to a K to M color, you could definitely see the difference. And then from the N to Z, for sure, you could see the difference where uh, it is a light yellow diamond. 
okay? Uh, it's not the fancy yellow that you're thinking about where it's vivid yellow and it's just beautiful and gorgeous. It's more of a warmer type of uh, slight yellow, more like the, the color of an afternoon, if you will, right? So it's just a, a warmth to it. Now that said, many people do love this color, okay? So don't discount that ever. Uh, here at Fire and Brilliance, we've been saying this for years, ever since I've been gone YouTube. You do you, right? There's no right or wrong answer. There's something for everybody, right? Uh, some people actually like warmer diamonds. Some people like included diamonds. Some people like white diamonds. Some people like um, different shapes, ovals, cushions, as well as uh, uh, radiance and emeralds, right? So it just depends on what you like. Uh, so there's no right or wrong answer. However, the fact of the matter is that more people prefer the whiter gemstone and therefore because of supply and demand, it's more expensive on the upper scale, DEF to G-E-H-I-J, whereas the warmer uh, tonalities from the K to M to the N to the Zs, those are a little warmer and usually it's not as sought after. Now, it's also important to note that the color scale is not the only factor in determining the quality of the value of the diamond. The clarity, the cut, and the carry weight also play important roles, okay? So that's the reason why I keep mentioning the four Cs. Now, if you missed out on the last couple of episodes that I've been going over, I actually spent about two and a half weeks breaking down down clarity grades by sections okay so if you definitely check that out if you are in the market for a diamond don't buy anything just yet until you watch my videos trust me you want to make sure you watch my videos so you do your research you do your due diligence and you make sure that you're confident that when you do take out that paycheck to purchase that diamond for your anniversary gifts your birthday gifts your proposal whatever it is that you are happy and satisfied with that so so I'll leave it at that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.